To get started with making your own DIY face mask at home, these are the materials you're going to need. Hello, this is Treasure and welcome to my channel. Today I want to show you how to make this DIY fabric face mask at home. The important thing for us to do at this time is to stay at home. Please stay at home. But I also understand that you may need to go to the store to pick up some food item or medications. And that is why I want to show you how to make this DIY fabric face mask. I am not saying that this is going to give you 100% protection against coronavirus or anything. But what this is going to do for you is to stop you from touching your face when you are outside doing exercise or picking up food items or medicines from the store. So I'm going to show you how to make this DIY face mask. This is a fitted one that goes over the ridge of your nose and cover your cheek as well as under your cheek and right to the side of your face. The elastic at the back also secures firmly at the back of your neck. So I'm going to show you what it looks like before we start. In my case, I'm using the cotton blend fabric and I'm going to be using cotton fabric for lining. You do not necessarily have to use a separate fabric for your lining. You can use the same fabric you're using for your main outer layer or face mask as the lining as well. In my case, I'm using this fabric. Uh, this is going to be my outer layer uh, of my face mask. And I'm going to be using this cutting material, uh, which is very soft. Uh, as lining as this is going to be on my face so that is what I choose to use and also you're going to need uh, an elastic 22 to 25 inches should be okay uh, this is the one that I'm using if you don't have an elastic at home check your bedding sheet you may have some elastic around the edge of your bedding sheet you can take those ones out and use for your face mask you're also going to need some form of filtration. Now, I have done quite some research about what kind of filter to use for your face mask. And this is total disclaimer. I am not saying that DIY fabric face mask will give you 100% protection against these viruses. No. But what is going to help you is that when you wear this face mask, it will stop you from touching your face when you're outside. The best thing, the best way to protect yourself is by staying at home. Stay at home. But of course, you may want to go to the store to pick up food or to pick up medicine or to exercise. Then you can wear your face mask outside to stop you from touching your face. But it's also good to be able to add some form of filtration to it so that it gives you some added protection. Now, in my research, I have found out a few of these um, filters that a lot of people are using. And if you go to smartairfilters.com, you'll find some information about these filters and how they can help. The ones that I've found out that people are using are, one, a non-woven medium interfacing that we use for sewing. It is non-woven, so it's a bit tighter. Uh, this is a fusible interfacing, so you will have to iron this on your fabric that you're using. If you don't have a non-woven interfacing at home, some people are using a Hoover vacuum bag filter with HEPA uh, for some protection. Now, in front of all this, you can see that I've added question marks. That is to show you that this is disclaimer from me. There's no proven statistics, there's not, nothing is proven that this will help you to protect 100% against this virus. No. But these are what people are using and inserting into their face mask for some form of added protection, if you don't get what I mean. Some people are using 100% cotton t-shirt as inserts into their face mask. Some people are using dish towel or tea towel as an insert into their face mask. But anything that you use, make sure that they are breathable. And the next thing you're going to need to make your face mask at home is the template. Uh, this is a template that I've made. I'm going to put 
uh, it in my description box below if you click on that link it you should be able to download the template but if you don't have a printer at home to print this template i'm going to show you how to draft this template pattern for your diy face mask so let's get started you need an a4 paper like this and you want to create a box a square box of 15 centimeter lengthwise and 15 centimeter breadthwise all right so you are going to create 15 centimeter length and widthwise so 15 centimeter this way and 15 centimeter this way and then you repeat the same thing at the lower side as well making sure is 15 centimeter before you roll that line i want to just check that this side is also 15 centimeter so i've got my 15 centimeter right here and then i'm going to connect it to this point so i've got 15 centimeter there and then another 15 centimeter right here so we have our perfect square now you want to label it this is going to be the top center yeah this is going to be your bottom center or center bottom whichever way you prefer and this is going to be your side that is to the hair side and that will be the side top and this is going to be the side bottom and this is where your hair will be this is where your the front will be okay the next thing you want to do is at the center top you want to measure 6.5 centimeter down at the center front so you measure 6.5 centimeter from the top to that point okay and then across top as well on the top layer here across top you want to measure 3.5 centimeter so you have 3.5 centimeter right there so what you want to do is to connect these two points together from that to that you can rule a straight line and then curve it if you have a french curve like this you can use it to just connect those two points together so you rule that curve from that point so here we have 3.5 centimeter and here at the front we have 6.5 centimeter okay now you come to the lower part the bottom part at the center front and you want to measure up from the bottom you want to measure up five centimeter so you measure five centimeter from the bottom five centimeter from the bottom and then mark that right there once you've done that at the bottom here as well you want to measure across at the bottom four centimeter so you measure four centimeter at the bottom here and then just mark that and then again you connect a curve from this point to the lower bottom part again using my french curve i'm just going to rule that curve to meet both points now what you want to do is to make sure that this is rounded not pointing so you may use a french curve as well 
or just use your hand to do it so in my case i'm just going to use a french curve to make sure it is not pointing so i can have a perfect rounded kind of shape around there so that is all i can get so it's just round it up it's okay if it comes out of the mark it's okay yeah just make sure you have a rounded shape right there because this is where your nose is going to be positioned okay now we are done with the front part the center front part we are not going to move to the side at the side from the top side or side top as you may prefer you want to measure down from that top side you measure down five centimeter five centimeter from the top and you mark that right there now from that point you want to connect a curve up to that you can and curve it something like that but again if you have your french curve you can just use your french curve to connect the two lines the two points from the side and to the top in the other front okay so you connect that like that again what i measure down here is just five centimeters so i'm going to write that so that's five centimeter then you come to the bottom part of the side as you can see it's taking a shape already you come to the bottom side of the face mask at the side and you measure up just 1.27 centimeters which is about half an inch you measure up 1.27 centimeter which is about half an inch so 1.27 is going to be something like that and then you mark that again from that point you want to curve it to meet the front so i'm going to use my french curve i'm going to use my french curve again to connect that point together okay and that is 1.27 centimeter and that is it you have your template so the next thing you're going to do is to lengthen this place by three centimeter so you're going to measure three centimeter from that point and then come down as well and measure three centimeter from that point and you connect all this points together because this is where we're going to have our elastic insert so you just connect that point and connect that point and roll a line from the bottom from the top to the bottom to connect that so this is where we have our elastic insert allowance all right so the next thing you want to do is to add your seam allowance and we are just going to use one centimeter seam allowance or half an inch half an inch or one centimeter of seam allowance so i'm just going to be adding my seam allowance across and then connect connect it now i've added my half an inch seam allowance all around i'm just going to cut from that point and there you have your template for the face mask so you're going to cut two fabric two lining for interfacing or whichever filter you want to use now i'm going to take this to the fabric and lay it all down and cut so we are now going to interface the fabric on the wrong side so i'll separate it and then put the the glue side of the interfacing lay it on the wrong side of the fabric
and then give it a press. So the next thing we're going to do is to take it to the sewing machine and then sew one centimeter seam allowance from the top round to the bottom and we'll do the same thing on the lining as well from the top round to the bottom let's do that all aligns together and then the first thing we want to do is to sew it from the top here all the way to the bottom and open up the seam and iron that flat so the lining together as well So you pin the right side of the lining and the right side of the main fabric together. So with right side facing right side and left side together, you pin it across at the top from one edge to the other and you pin it across at the bottom from one edge to the other. Remember that we cut the same lining the length of the lining together with the length of the uh, main fabric. What I'm going to do now is to trim the lining down a bit at the edge. And the reason is when we are turning this over to insert our elastic, we want, we want to avoid bulkiness. So I'm going to trim the lining down so that we don't have too much bulk at the edge there so I'm just going to cut that down on both sides and I'll cut the other side as well we are going to sew it from that top all across from one end to the other end and at the bottom from one end to the other end. Again, we are sewing with half an inch or one centimeter of seam allowance. Again, I'm going to notch it at the edge. What we are going to do next is to then turn it inside out. As you can see, I have turned it inside out. This is what we have when we turn it inside out. This is the inside layer and this is the outer layer this is the top this is the bottom and this is the side we're going to fold this over the lining because it's going to be the insert for our elastic so when we fold it over and sew it down it will hide away the raw edges that we have on the lining fold over the lining and tuck a quarter of an inch inside and pin it down and you do the same thing on the other side as well and then you take it to the sewing machine and sew it together
you're just going to sew right at the edge So next we are going to insert our elastic here and here. You can use a safety pin to do that. So you insert the elastic right here. So as you can see the elastic has come out. So you have that on one side and then you take it over to the other side as well and insert the elastic on the other side and push through for it to come out here so now that you pull the elastic through on both sides and then you join both ends of the elastic together using zigzag stitches Make sure you run stitches up and down the elastic to secure both ends of the elastic, like so. And then you pull the, the end into the fabric to hide the edge. So what you have is this. So that is your face mask.